This video will show you the assembly and startup of a Razer Crazy Cart. Once removed from all its packaging, you'll have the cart, the steering wheel, and the flag. Please note, on some, the steering wheel isn't pre-assembled. Simply remove the grommet from the top steering stem and remove the steering wheel from its cardboard packaging. Once removed, you will see there's a slight cutout which basically angles it into the steering stem in only one way possible so you can't get the steering wheel backwards. Line up the cutout with the slot, press down, there's an allen key provided in the packaging, you just need to tighten the top nut. Once the steering wheel is securely assembled, you can then place this crazy cart on charge. It always requires an 18 hour charge time prior to its first use and then an overnight or 12 hour after each use. We note during periods where you're not using it regularly, still give it two regular charges a month overnight. The flagpole is simple, it just slots into the back of the seat in the hole provided. The front wheel is pneumatic and requires inflating. It's a normal bike valve. This should be at 36 PSI. It states this on the side of the tire wall. Sometimes when you switch on the crazy cart, you can find you press the accelerator, nothing will happen. Simply just give the wheel a wobble and you find it will go. Now it's time to enjoy and have fun and drift your crazy cart.